Expressions was made possible by corporations and individuals committed to the arts in Southwest Florida. The Robert and K. Gow Arts Fund of the Bonita Springs Community Foundation. And Southwest Florida viewers like you. Thank you. vocabulary words. Guild, an association of men and women practicing the same craft. Artisan, a skilled worker or craftsman. Put them together and you have the people in our next story. They are both artisans and members of a guild, but they also share a deep commitment to children and education. Candace Rotolo explains. You only need to step inside the workshop of the Thomas Riley Artisans Guild to know that what is created here is extraordinary. The motto that guides everyone here hangs prominently on the wall, is it monumental? The craftsmen answer that question with every exquisite piece of art they design. One of a kind woodworking pieces, decorative finishes, custom stone and each creation a masterpiece. We can build you a powder room cabinet or we can finish that powder room for you or we can also design and build everything that's in the house and complete all the woodwork and finish work. The Naples Company started 11 years ago, the brainchild of Thomas Riley. I think that was part of the motivation was to seeing these crafts people uh, in the community that were virtually starving because they didn't handle the business side of things well. Um, and I saw that talent being lost because uh, they weren't able to produce what they love to produce. So I pursued a market that I thought possibly existed of people that were willing to pay for what it took uh, for the labor intensity to create uh, artistic pieces of woodwork. Riley began his guild with just four craftsmen. It started with just the finishing end of things and people started to ask me whether I knew someone that could build a cabinet so I went out into the community and banging on doors to find out if anybody had a could build a cabinet for me and found some great talent. Now the guild includes 70 craftsmen and their work has expanded to include painted faux finishes and custom-made metal doorknobs and other ornamentation. Looks like we might have gotten pretty good casting. With projects ranging in price from 500 to $5 million, the Guild's clients are the rich and famous, many self-made millionaires. Some live in Naples, and they've had quite an impression on Riley. One of the biggest first jobs I ever sold was to a gentleman who was a uh, great mentor to me, and he said, now I gave you this check, now you have to go do something for your community. And that really started the wheel rolling on giving back because you do get back tenfold. The Artisans Guild is involved in nearly a half dozen community programs, including Collier County's Education Foundation, which sponsors the Golden Apple Awards to recognize outstanding teachers. It's a great program and it fits right into our civic um, responsibility, we believe, to be involved with the teachers and the students. The Guild's most notable contribution, this custom-made hand-carved wood podium. With the help of local artist Kathy Spaulding, the piece features two children holding bronze apples and is used each year for the televised awards. The Artisans Guild also takes part in the Partners in Education program. We'll partner with a school um, and those kids come in throughout the school year and we teach them the basics of woodworking. And our hope is that they're going to get something out of it in terms of uh, mentorship, for one, but also why they should study math, because what we do is all about math. Workers have a special relationship with students at Immokalee High School. Thought that after being a partner in education for so long that perhaps we could focus on Immokalee, the underprivileged and the less fortunate, as being something that uh, uh, I came from a less fortunate background, I guess you could call it, but I had a blast growing up. And uh, if we could show these kids that someone from my background could get to the level that we're at so far, um, 
that they have a shot too. Each spring, teachers choose about 18 Immokalee students to come to the guild and work one on one with the craftsmen. Dude, when you're standing in the radius, put your finger in like so, inside, finger in like, and roll it. It'll clean up your insides. Those kids coming out of their environment have that same opportunity to transform their lives into something as good as these artisans have it. I think as good as they have it means that they're able to express themselves, being able to build these beautiful things and have become a lot more than they ever dreamed they would be. And they can make a handsome living doing it. The students that we bring here aren't typically the top academic students. Uh, they, they don't get a lot of this kind of exposure. They're sort of excluded sometimes from things like this. So we, we target those students to bring them out and show them what goes on in the real world and just get them that extra exposure. By the end of the semester, the students have created a steam engine from start to finish. The goal is to build the best engine and win bragging rights. But community liaison Danielle Poff believes the artisans benefit just as much as the students. You'll hear them comment to one another even before the kids get here about whose who's wooden steam engine, for example, is going to work the best. And so I think it boosts morale, it helps with employee retention, and uh, just allows a lot more of our employees to get involved with the students. I think they all walk away with something. I know they leave something behind, that's for sure. It certainly is. Uh, touched the lives of the craftsmen who I believe um, were a little bit hesitant to be involved with the kids. Here we are trying to make money and I'm pushing that we have to survive, but incorporating um, civic responsibility into it and getting involved with the children was something that I think many had hesitations about, whether I was nuts or not. But, um, once we got into it, they fell in love with the kids. Riley hopes someday soon he can partner with area schools in a way that will help students and ensure the Guild's future. If we do not develop our own resources, um, this company won't survive for more than 15, maximum 20 years. You know, education doesn't usually drive kids towards the crafts as much as they used to in the past. Um, so we decided if we were going to continue to the next generation of uh, the Artisans Guild that we had better think about creating an apprenticeship program um, to build our own craftsmen that can work with us for years to come. Riley dreams of having an Artisans campus, giving even more craftsmen the opportunity to do what they love to do. You know, it's happening little by little. We're building it. We've built a good foundation, though, I think, so far. As you can see, we got a pretty good What's most impressive about the Artisans Guild is the four words Tom Riley has built his business around. Love and kindness, fairness and honesty. There is a shoulder mentality that has been instilled. Every worker has an important job to do to keep customers satisfied. At the Guild, craftsmen use their passion to create works of art. And it's that passion that helps turn a profit. For Expressions, I'm Candace Rotolo.